Jarvis Prime. Yo. Welcome back to the channel. What's poppin', what's poppin', world? I appreciate you coming through. You're 33. At what point did your message start to develop? Was it in your 30s that um, I would say your music started having a lot more um, of a message, of a positive message? I think, like I said, you know, a minute back, I told you on the first segment we had together that um, I mentioned how even when I first started writing, um, my first song was Look at the Water, and trying to get down, look at you. You know, and I look back at that, I'm like, damn, you know, like, you know, that's me just basically telling, you know, my peers don't be a follower, you know what I'm saying? And that was actually, I had done, it was a time where I know I'm going off subject, but there was a time where um, I remember the first time I tried to be down, you know, and I got a lot of praise for it, but when I look at when I look back at it as a self reflection, I look back at myself. I'm like, oh man, you really did that. Um, I had a group of guys chasing this dude, and you know, I'm like six years old, so I started chasing him. And me, I don't know, I I didn't have shit to do, bro. I, I I chased him, and I done passed the whole crowd up. This goes how fast I was. I done passed the whole crowd up. Everybody done gave up. I go into the building. I grab the dude. Pow! Bing pow! Bing pow! Bing pow! So everybody coming to the crowd, coming in like, oh, he got him. I don't even know what the fuck going on. Why the fuck I did that? But long story short, um, you know, I had I, I said I'll never do that again. I used to apologize to the dude. We talked and we've been cool ever since. And um, I never done no shit like that. Um. But, you know, it'll be crazy. What, you know, when I see little kids, you know, I see that. I know what that is because I've been there. So I'm able, I'm able to address it and jump on it. I don't want kids to go down that same path. I'm glad I caught it early. I'm glad I caught it early. Some people don't catch it at all, but I caught it early. I'm like, hell no. Um, so um, as far as the message go, I've been wanting to, I've been, had the message there and, when I really, really started taking it serious, that was more of my intent to bring the message. But I didn't want to bring the message too early because my first, that's my first thing with the music period. And that's just naturally. But that's my first is to message, is to bring the message. But not even a message. I wouldn't call it a message, but it's a message. But um, to bring real, real, my, my, my view, my real, my real view of the world to the, 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 the front, the full forefront. Um, so yeah, that's what that was about. Um, fast forward to the present where we at now. I felt like now was the appropriate time to do it. Um, been procrastinating enough. Like I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna give them what they want to hear right now. And when I make it big, or then I'm gonna give them that because the whole world gonna hit me by that time. So now I can give them the real me. I'm like, no, you know, I'm gonna give them the real me now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, but I'm, you know, that was me. I was thinking small, you know, and I, you know, how that meme go? You thinking small, bitch. You need to be thinking big, bitch. But, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm giving it to him now. So, you know, after my last project did pretty good, Overdue did good, I felt like it was perfect timing, you know, it was perfect timing. I got the right people around me. Um, you know, the, the era we in where so much chaos going on in the world. Um, yeah, that, that led to, that led to me going with the move now. We talk about police killings. We talk about Black Lives Matter and all this and all that. That's cool, but most of these wounds that's being inflicted is black inflicted. You know, it's black inflicted. It's black people inflicting these wounds on each other. You know, these wounds I got. Most of these scars I came and came and got they didn't come from a white man. You know, they didn't come from a cop. You know, it came from a nigga I called brother. Probably was cool with. You know. The scars you have, you know, you know, um, not saying that none of that other stuff exists, but what's that, what's before us, what I encounter every day, um, what I see my peers encounter, the guys that, them, that's, so all the blood I've been seeing shed between close friends, neighbors, homies, enemies on both sides, um, you know, it's, Black inflicted, so it jumps into revolution, and you know, um, 
And even though it's black inflicted, that's the first way of addressing it um, as far as the chaos go. But, you know, it's only had that's only half of it. So I, what I like about it is that, you know, it's a flip side to revolution, too, because there's some other stuff to happen. But first, I, I felt the need to address the, 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 the process over the product, you know. The flip side is that, yeah, it's black inflicted wounds, but y'all need to be paying attention to what's going on, what these people is doing to us. That's what y'all need to be looking at. Like, oh, I'm your, I'm your enemy? You my enemy? Motherfucker, that's the enemy right there. But until we address this with little issue we got between us, we ain't gonna never see that. You know what I'm saying? So I jump into straight into revolution, like get to the nitty gritty. You know, like um, I'm tired of seeing it. Um, murder rate, you know, coming from New Orleans right now. We back to murder capital. Shit, not even cool. You know, it ain't even nothing to brag about. It's honestly kind of embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? That we just taking the L's. You know. You know, I hear about more debt than money. You know, I'm never hearing, it was rather the, the, the talk about money is, you know, all, I, all I'm hearing is beef and beef and death. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Like, um, you know, I log on social media the other day. One time I get on my social media, somebody stole a lady call. Um, they stole a lady call. A daughter and a granddaughter in a call. When she go to find the call, they find the call, but the granddaughter not in the call. So now she crying on social media, like return the baby. I heard they found the baby, you know. I don't know if, if anyone of y'all heard that, you know, chime in, tap in. Um, I don't know how that situation went, but I remember that um it was just a few days ago actually. And um, but you know, to speak on that in the at the in the same breath, I wanna say that um these teenagers they don't have nothing to do. It's dudes my age that's trying to be the teenagers, trying to live, but they didn't catch up in the team, so they still out there. It's, um, you know, it's just a cycle, and the only way I can address it, the, my best way of addressing it, because I have good intentions, you know, I got peer intentions, so my best way of addressing it is through the music. A lot of self-reflection in religious. Yeah, yeah. An entire project, I imagine. Yeah, um, yeah. That's why, and then then I just you know take my lick, right behind that, and jump straight into take my lick, and that's something I had to learn to do. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? You in this situation because of yourself. Take your lick and keep going. You better get your ass out of it, and who ain't nobody gonna come get you out of it? You know what I'm saying, and. Looking at my peers really put the mirror on myself. Looking at motherfuckers make excuses around me really, I'm like, oh shit, that's how I be looking. This cause this motherfucker making this, Lord. Yeah, bro, I'm, a, I'm a broke cause of who do I? Like, damn, that's that's how I be looking. I'm like, damn, that's how you be looking, you know, like, and. So, you know, just take my leg, just taking self-accountability. That's one thing we don't got, self-accountability, dog. Like, no self-accountability. Nobody not checking themselves. If you say I'm sorry, it's saying I'm sorry, it's, man, that's a loss. That's a loss in today's time, you know. Um, a saying I was wrong. You know, you're only human. Like, you ain't going to always be right. And wrong don't make, it don't get you no money. So what's wrong? We 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 that we that hard up about not being wrong that we gonna you know it's crazy the levels people will go to not be wrong like I still got my flaws and I addressed it that don't take my lick um you know um I still got my fucking flaws I don't think that's going nowhere I embrace that I think we all should embrace our flaws so um and keep it pushing you know and. The, the the art about taking your lick and you know getting out the mud and taking your risk to 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 level up is that when you do it when you do it you know the direct the, the the outcome is always better the um the um 
reward is always better. The um the pot is better, the plate is better, you know, so but when you lose, you know, you lost. Take that loss. Take that loss the same way you was ready to take credit for that win, you know? You know, and get up and keep going. It's way deeper than music at this point, you know. Um a million percent about music. Um I, I take it way more serious, you know, nowadays, um, as far as leaning on making my points, you know. Um at first it was more about proving the point, but now it's about no, fuck that. I got a point to make. Let me make my point. And whoever don't like it in the process, they just don't. You know, we elaborated that on. We elaborated about that earlier. Um, not everybody gonna like it, you know. Um, ones who do, that's what it was made for. Um, they gonna appreciate it. And, yeah. And then, of course, we have to appreciate the ones that don't like it because, again, it gives a balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. It it ain't nothing balance. wrong with it. Ain't nothing you wrong know, with it, man. Say, hey, hey. If everybody man, in the world like that, hey, something's wrong. I'm sure, hey, if you don't like lyrics, you don't like nothing that's positive, um, um, you don't like Lil Russell, you don't like J. Cole, you don't like that slow Kendrick, you probably ain't gonna like that real religious. Probably overdue, you know, um, probably six hundred degrees, but real religious you probably might not be your, you know, your goal. But then again, it might be if you like music, period. You like it all, yeah, yeah. You gonna you gonna find some gems in that. I feel better this time around. You know, my son like it. I, I feel better this time around because, oh, you're actually catching on to something that's, you know, you ain't rapping nothing, none of my old stuff where I'm like, you know, oh man, I used to talk my shit. I still do talk my shit and still will, but. I just want to make sure um, that my best work is what's left here. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I exit this 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 place we have, I want to make sure my best work was at least left here. You know, we don't know when we those moments come. You know what I'm saying? So I learned to start putting my best work forward. Like, you know what? Fuck that. Uh, uh. Because I know guys that left with a lot of potential, but they left this motherfucker where I am. And I'm sitting here like, damn, that motherfucker was talented. This motherfucker gonna do this, this motherfucker gonna do that, this motherfucker. Damn, the world don't even know what it. Damn, you know. And he ain't here to back you up and prove that, you know. So yeah, um, I, I put my best work forward, and that's my best work. This right here, what I'm giving is, you know, everything I'm giving from this point is my best work, unless it's something that I just been sitting on, which. It's going to be some projects I'm dropping in until I get to, you know, the album process. But right now, we're going to hit them with real ledgers. That's out now. Y'all will get that. Um, going to drop the deluxe edition. We still ain't put no official data on it, but it's real soon. Um, we will keep y'all informed. Frank will keep y'all informed. And, um, yeah, man, that's where we at with it right now. So... Real is out on all platforms. Yeah, yeah, all platforms. All digital platforms. Yeah. Um, go take a listen to that. Yeah. Putting that project together, who, uh, you have any special mentions? Um, most definitely I do. That's a great question. Um, my homie Sideburns. Um, Sideburns going to be on a lot of my upcoming tracks. Um, a lot of my upcoming songs. Um, Sideburns did Keep It Cool. Um, one of my favorite songs on there. Um, that's something we need to work on, as a matter of fact. Keep it cool. Um, we gonna, we gonna, let me talk about that another time. But um, shout out to Cyburn. Shout out to my homie um, back with Calvo, um, another producer on the project, also another featuring artist on the project. Um, he actually sent me his song, um, Can I Vent? I did it, and I decided to throw it on the project. So it's actually his song, but he was more excited about me throwing it on the project. And I'm like, motherfucker, thank you for sending me the song. Let me on your song. So, you know, the love is, you know, the love is on, um, what I want to say, the love is on, um, um, edit this part out. The love is on. Um, <laughs> mutual. Um, mutual. Nice. God damn. Nice. Man, the love is mutual, man. But um, who else? Um, oh, man, I can't get out my homie name. 
but it was mainly New Orleans producers on this particular project. Um, I got a guy from Memphis on the project um, as far as producing um, all originals. Um, but shout out to the producers on the project, most definitely in the future. And all the shout out my homie Drew Orleans. That's a day one. Man, Drew, Drew, shout out my homie Drew, man. Uh, I'm glad to have you on the project, bro. I ain't gonna need much lie, man. But um, that 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 feature mean a lot to me. You know, it mean bigger than a Drake feature. Are we uh? So we be looking forward to some videos for religious. Or are we oh, saving that for man, my we damn show. We about we we doing videos right now. We in motion right now. Um, um, but next month, be looking for some drops. Um, let me know. Keep on giving me y'all feedback, whatever y'all favorite project. If you haven't checked out the project, look it up on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora. Um, got links on my Facebook, have links on my Instagram, links on my Twitter, um, whatever, whatever your social um, preference is. Um, TV Industries, holla at me. Um, but, um, most definitely... Check it out on all platforms, and till then, videos will be y'all. Y'all send me y'all feedback what videos y'all want, cause the one I get the most feedback from is the first video that would drop. Um, we plan on doing videos to at least fifty percent of the project, and um, move on to something else. Um, be looking to see me on a lot of feature songs. Um, that's song that's gonna be coming out soon, and. Be looking at, be looking for me to be in your city. If I, in New Orleans, y'all already know I'm everywhere. So I ain't hard to find. You know, most of y'all know where I'm where my nine to five at. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, ain't nothing new with me. Um, yeah, man, that's about it. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming, man. Appreciate it. 100, man. Shout out my homie, Keevan and Frank. Y'all know I'm keeping the Frank with my homie, Frank. The dead. You know it's prime in the motherfucking building, man.